people and welcome back to my channel so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a quick leave kind of slash sew in because I ended up sewing some of the hair in because of the wefts were so like thin but we'll get into that for the rest of the at the you know towards the beginning of the video or the middle of the video blah 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 whatever so right now all I'm doing is I am creating the foundation for my hair so I have decided that my lace closure because it is a middle part I'm going to be doing a middle part um, sew in slash quick weave um, however you are welcome to do a side part deep side part however you want to position the closure but however you decide to wear that closure that's where you need to part your hair okay so I have parted my hair in the middle and right now is the braid method that I'm doing or foundation that I'm doing is I am braiding doing cornrows down where it is split in my hair um, I think in total I ended up doing about 11 braids which is actually not a lot um, so that is just pretty much what I'm doing and then we'll just get into the next step. you guys so I do not want to bore you as you watch, my, watch me braid my hair so the next step is I am going to be doing the bald cap method because I am going to be gluing the lace closure down um, after I you know sew it and so this is what I'm just doing I'm going to be using my got to be free spray to do that small portion of the hair um, because this closure is like a two by six closure type so that's why I'm just doing a small portion and then you will see me sewing around the um, area of where the closure will lay because um, I will be doing adding another cap where I will be doing the bonding glue method for the tracks um, as well as sewing, sewing partial Alright y'all, so what you're about to see me do now is to protect my hair from the glue that I'm about to put in my hair, I'm going to be spraying a two layers actually of got to be free spray around the rest of the cap because um, this protects my hair from the glue so that whenever I decide to take this install out, it does not damage my hair, okay? And so I'm putting one layer around the cap and just spraying it, spraying it, and then you will see me add another cap. And on top of that cap, I'm going to also have another layer, okay? So I'm just trying to protect my hair as much as possible, and it saves you the hassle of struggling to take it out whenever you decide to take the install out. All right, you guys, so here what you will see is you see that red line that I have drawn on my head. What that is, is because I couldn't find my white marker, I used like a red lip liner to mark exactly where the closure is because the closure is not going to be the first thing that I install, okay? And when I am installing the bundles, I do not want to cover up that part where the lace closure is supposed to be. And so this is very, very helpful when you're doing an install like this. That way you don't have to install your closure in the beginning. Alright you guys, so now we're going to go ahead and get into starting to glue our hair. So the hair I'm actually using today is called, is from the brand Sphinx. Um, the hair is actually called Kiera. I got this at the hair store for $21 y'all. This is a 14, 16, 18 inch bundles. Very affordable. 
um, option. I highly recommend it. It's human hair quality and it feels great. I love it on my head right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am measuring the, the section of my hair that I'm gluing and I'm applying the glue, okay? And then I'm applying the hair to the cap, okay? When you are applying your glue, do not add a whole bunch of glue, okay? I could not show you guys exactly how much glue I was adding because what I don't want it to do was like lift it up and then the glue started dripping everywhere. It's automatically messy process. So that's why I was unable to do that, okay? But I'm being very tedious not to use a whole bunch of glue, okay? When you put it up there, make sure you press it into the hair. And then I always go in with my blow dryer to ensure that the glue is dry, okay? Because you do not want your tracks to be very loose. That is not what you want, okay? So that is all that I'm doing throughout this process. Once I get to a certain section, um, I actually did start sewing part of it in once I got to the middle section. Just because the wefts were thin, um, that's kind of what you get with, with synthetic hair. And so it was just easier for me to finish the process in sewing some of it. But for the most part, I just glued it in, okay? And th this is literally all that I do for the entire process, okay? Once I get to a certain point, I do go in and install the closure. Um, I do sew the closure down first before I glue it, glue like the front lace part to my head okay and that is just it's quick simple easy y'all anybody can do it So here I'm starting to cut the cap out um, to leave the ball cap section so I can install my lace closure. Apparently my camera died um, for the rest of the install. So literally all I do y'all is I sew the closure down where the nude section is. And then I glue the front as if you would apply a lace frontal or like a lace closure with glue. If you need a tutorial on that, be sure to check out one of my other videos to show you exactly how to do that. But that's literally all I do. I sew the closure on and then I just continue to glue the rest of the tracks on. And that is literally it. Your install is done. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Well, it's not actually the final look because... I need to crimp the closure to match the rest of the hair because I could have sworn I grabbed body wave 
because that's what the closure is but I grabbed deep wave kind of not paying attention but it's okay I'm gonna just end up like crimping the hair so it can blend or I'll like wand it or something but other than that so let me give you a 360 this is what it looks like this is 14 16 18 um so far it's really nice only thing I didn't like was that the webs were so skinny but that's typically what you get with like non-human hair bundles but um this is definitely affordable this hair was like 20 bucks and then the closure was like 7.99 so like this is a 30 dollar install y'all so and it looks like it really when they say human hair quality like it feels good it straightens well like when i was like trying to flatten out the closure and stuff um, the closure is really nice. I didn't have to like customize anything. I didn't have to pluck anything because I did the ball cap method. I didn't have to um, like put any concealer on the part, anything. So it kind of worked out. Um, I actually really like it a lot. And I'm going to try and keep this in for like two, two weeks because it is bonding glue in my hair. Like my hair will start itching in like a week and a half so but i hope you guys like this video i hope you learned something from this especially through my trial and errors um a sister was struggling but typically like it really should take you no longer than an hour to like install the hair because quick weaves are it's a quick weave so it really shouldn't take you that long once you get like your mojo um but i hope you guys like this video and i hope to see you guys in the next video Toodaloo.